Today we're going to um, discuss about sorting out a rusty trailer. Now at the front end here this thing looks alright, the trailer does, but as you move up you'll see quite a bit of rust and they're the areas that go in the water. It's had some sort of treatment on it but uh, it needs some TLC. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some ferronite rusty metal primer into this and then we'll put some paint on it from there. And if you have a look, we've got quite heavy corrosion in places. Quite thick. Now corrosion is a deceptive thing because it swells 16 times the thickness of material that comes off. So it's not as bad as it looks, but this poor old thing's had a rough life. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're using a, a scutch hammer. It's designed for cleaning up bricks and masonry, but it'll work really well with the rust as well. So we're just going through and belting all the loose stuff off, and that's all we need to do. The ferronite that we're going to use to treat it with actually needs rust to work. So you can see the rust has got in under the galvanising and, and killed it. So we need to get that, that back to good, good solid metal so we can then... Uh, treat it with the ferronite rusty metal primer. So it, you don't have to take all the rust off. You just want to get the loose stuff off and get it back so that you've got good solid metal. Don't try and take all the galvanising off just where it's rusty. And from there we, we clean it up and we'll, we'll give this a wipe down with hot soapy water we get all the rust off to make sure that we've uh, got it clean because there's a lot of salt in around this so we want all the salt off and more Charlotte see we whoa we created a hole look at all. so it's important to get all the loose stuff off and you can also use this like this and and that's clean enough the, the important thing is to get off these pitted pieces because it, it won't allow the rusty metal primer to get right in and, and treat the rusted surface. So it's important to get all these loose stuff off the ferrous oxide scale off so that we're back to rusty metal and then the ferronite will do a really good job on tidying this right up. Anyway. <laughs> We used an array of tools to uh, uh, clean the rust. All we wanted to do was knock the loose stuff off and uh, that's done. You can see all the loose stuff on the ground. See, see how we put cardboard down? Uh, the cardboard's fairly important because it uh, saves ferronite going all over the ground. Um, then what was done from there, two coats of ferronite put onto all the rusty areas and uh, next step is to get some uh, paint onto it and we're going to cheat a bit too because someone's bought this um, and they want it tidied up so they can get it registered we're going to hide the holes in it in the back here with some epoxy so I'll go through uh, sorting that out in a while as well a tip when you're doing springs getting the ferronite in between the leaves of the springs is to wet it with some water then uh, uh, put the ferronite in, it slows it down going off and allows the ferronite to work its way in between the leaves and the springs. And, uh, so what we have here, some areas where we had holes going right through where it rusted right through. What I've done, I've mixed up some epoxy glue and I've put some tape underneath so there's duct tape, make a bit of a dam and then uh, I've just lathered it on and because it's thick so it'll sit where you put it 
and I've done a few other spots so there's over there where Jack is uh, in in this area here and over this side as well so once that's dry we'll give it a sand back put some paint on it and we'll be the only ones that know there were holes there beautiful So Jake's now in under there painting, he's starting from the bottom and working his way up and uh, look at the axle, it was a rusty hunk of junk before, now it's looking respectable even and that's as simple as that and the reason you paint over the Fahrenheit is to keep UV away from it because if you don't the sun will get to it and over about 12 months it'll die and you'll have rust coming back again and uh, otherwise you don't need to paint it, you know like springs and that just easy to throw a fresh coat of Fahrenheit on it every 12 months or so. Simple as that. Well you've seen before we started and now we've got the aluminium paint on. I've used uh, kill rust in this situation. I like it, it tends to flow on and you only need to put one coat on with it. It um, gives quite a good finish so I always finish off with the kill rust. It sticks very well to the Fahrenheit. But look we, we had large patches of rust in those areas before and um, we've closed it all up, fixed it up with the Fahrenheit and then um, look at the axle, remember that? That had rust all over it so we just gave that a quick scrape so we exposed any got rid of the lumps of rust and then exposed it and now we've painted it, we've even painted the spring after we Fahrenheit it, the more paint you put on the longer your Fahrenheit's going to last now back here uh, there were all holes there I've used a bit of epoxy glue and we're next step, once that's fully cured, uh, we'll um, give that a sand back, throw some paint on it, and I reckon we'll be the only ones that'll know where it was, where the rusty holes were through it before. But anyway, we'll see once we get some paint on it. But look at this. So there's spots here where we still haven't painted because of the epoxy glue. But uh, once we get that um, Fahrenheit on, that seals it, and then all the paint's doing is keeping the sun away from it. The old trailer that didn't look real flash is starting to look real smart. Anyone would want to own it. Here we are, we've got our trailer all finished. I'm quite impressed with how it come up and the boys weren't supposed to paint it all but they thought I was doing such a good job they decided to paint the whole thing. By the way, I'll just show you if you have a look here at the back. Remember we had some holes in that? Find our holes right there we filled it with the epoxy glue we did a bit more work down there as well so now she's all finished looking good and I even had a customer turn up the other Saturday to buy some boat coat in that office and he was so impressed with it um, he said I want to buy it so we did it to show people how to fix Fahrenheit, use Fahrenheit to fix rusty metal and uh, we sold the trailer for my friend